hello guys welcome to another video tutorial by no code africa in this tutorial i'm going to be introducing you to flutterflow ai all right so for people who are just uh finding out this video for the very first time and getting uh, access to this youtube channel for the first time uh this is where you get to learn how to build mobile applications without writing codes using various no code instruments uh, so today I'm going to just uh, talk about Flutterflow uh, and AI, right? Uh, but before I continue, uh, for Flutterflow, Flutterflow is one of the best no-code instrument that allows you to build better, launch faster. Uh, anyways, you can actually check the, this YouTube channel and you will find lots of resources that will help you understand how to use Flutterflow to build mobile apps, web applications without having to write a single line of code. Okay, so uh, Flutterflow AI, let's go. Now, uh, there's, a, there's a current trend that I don't want any of you to miss, really. And that trend is the artificial intelligence trend, AI, AI trend. And uh, being that Flutterflow is really powerful, they have also made it possible that uh, you as their user, their customer, can also benefit from this trend within their platform. All right. So this is where you can actually get to see most of the uh, functionalities and features related to AI within Flutterflow. So here it is. You can create with AI, you can enhance with AI, you can connect with AI. All right. So you can actually check any of these links and then get to learn more about it. So here it says build apps with AI by your side. Uh, you get to see like a couple of uh, in interesting things here. So you can actually sketch uh, to component. All right. That means you can just like make a simple sketch uh with the sketch part inside flutterflow and then preview to generate the component you can also uh use a prompt to create a component all right you can also use a prompt to create a page all of this we're going to get to see uh in a very short time another thing that i would like to mention is that you can also use a prompt to generate an entire uh uh, part of a page within an existing page. That's the page autocomplete uh, feature within Flutterflow. Okay, so um, I would like us to, and then there are other things too, the magic cursor, the built-in AI integrations, OpenAI, Gemini APIs, and all of that. So we're going to try to see how we can, you know, use uh, AI within Flutterflow. So uh, let's just go straight to our new project inside Flutterflow. Uh, I didn't create this project from scratch. I already created this project because I want this video to be very short. I just want to introduce you to something really interesting. Okay, so this is how it looks like when you create a new project within Flutterflow. All right, uh, if at all you're very new here, you will check the, the links under the description, under this video, all right, the, this, the link in the description of this video all right yeah that's it so you'll be able to find uh you know information to tutorials that will help you uh understand how to build application from start to finish using Flutterflow. okay so uh let's go ahead and look at it so it's quite simple if you come here and you click on this particular beautiful button here you will see Flo Flutterflow ai tools these are the tools that are available new page creation uh, new component creation, sketch to component, uh, page autocomplete. So let's try to, if I click on the sketch to component, what you just need to do is you can actually get to upload an image. You can upload an image here. All right, let me see. I think I did download an image, login one. So let me click here to search for an image that I did download. So login one and I would just uh, open it. Now, when I bring it up like this, I would just click on generate component and it's, this is basically a sketch. I downloaded it from the internet. So this is, I'm just, I just clicked on generate component. So after a short time, it will generate the, the component for me. Okay. But it says here the component could not be generated properly. Uh, okay. I think maybe there's something wrong with that. Anyways, if you maybe there's something wrong with my image. Okay, so uh, but if you don't want to like upload an image, you can just go ahead and click here to sketch. Really, if you sketch here, you will be able to get a result. Okay, away from that one, we can just go to a uh, new page creation. So let's say you want to create a new page. All right. So this is where uh, you can just type like a couple of things here to describe the page. So I want to build. Um, uh, let's say uh, a right hailing, right hailing 
home page home page right hailing home page something like that you can be more descriptive let me put this right hailing home page uh weeds chats functionality and and what and i think that's it with chat function functionality so i'm just, just going to click on generate page wait for a couple of seconds it will generate a new page for me you know matching the description that i just did okay so it's going to take a couple of seconds i think and then from there we're going to get to see the page so i would like you to just like you know try these things out uh for this particular feature it is in the beta state so uh it's pretty stable uh, so if you click here to preview the the page you get to see here way to enter destination recent rides active chat see this is the chat part that we talked about you know write options and all of that you can you know click here to switch the colors if you want all right so it's just basically uh a feature that can help you build something really fast you know if at all you don't have like a ui ux design okay so you can click here to insert the page and say uh home page something like that and click on create page then after that you should have your page within your flood of loop project okay i hope you're excited about this because i am i'm just gonna give it a five star so this is it this is the the new page that has been generated entirely uh, you know, use uh, using the AI uh, functionality within Flutterflow. So from here, you can actually get to see uh, the different widgets that are available here. You can customize it as you want and it will flow seamlessly. Okay, so let's go ahead and try something else. Uh, let's see, this is our page already. Let's, uh, what would we like to add here? So let's say I want to click here and say page autocomplete. So I want to complete this page. All right, so I just want to add something to it. Uh, right healing homepage with chat functionality and video call feature, something like that. So autocomplete. So I'm now like asking it to autocomplete this particular page. And so it's going to generate uh, the new feature and it's going to add it to this page. Isn't that exciting? Okay. So anyways, if I told you are new to this channel or you have been visiting this channel and you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please just hit on the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel because with it, you're going to be uh, supporting us to keep, you know, creating content. If you've observed, I've been away from the channel for a while uh, and I would really like this support from you guys so I can, you know, keep creating amazing content for everyone here. Okay, so now it has created the uh the the new features i can just click to accept the tab and that's it so anyways i think this is the only thing that it added yeah this is it so it active right and then puts the name of i think the driver and then the video call and the chat so this is it this is the auto complete part so i can give it a five star okay so uh there's another part so we have new component creation it works the same way as the page but this time around is just going to create a component okay so we click here and say uh let's say uh cut cut uh cut uh features something like that something like cut features so um, let's say you're building a particular uh e-commerce application and then you want to have like a cat feature as a component so well that's what i'm basically trying to do now so i'm just trying to like you know have like cat features as a component so it's going to generate that for me and then i will just take a look at it so i hope you're excited about this because i am and uh let's just click to preview the component so this is it cut total items three da 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 this is basically it looks really beautiful isn't it yeah, so I can just go ahead and click on insert component and say cart. All right, so this is it. And that's it. I'll give it a five star. And this is it. This is a component. Okay. All right. I believe that you're excited about this just the same way as I am excited about this. So I will just expand it a bit so we can see every single thing inside the component. So this is it. Really beautiful. Okay. 
So uh, apart from that, I think that's uh, basically what I wanted to show you guys in this video. And uh, this is just me trying to come back again and, you know, be creating videos for your consumption and for your learning. So if I told you're excited to have me back, just hit the like button and remember to subscribe to this page and you will see me again tomorrow okay that's uh i'll create this video like another video for tomorrow okay all right guys thank you very much for uh always supporting me and uh see you in the next video bye for now